Right guys, uh, last night I stripped out this external DVD drive, uh, that's on a separate video now. I then took apart the actual DVD player, so that's all the, that's the case and the bits from inside it. And that left me with the the DVD tray, loading tray. Um, on the last video I was thinking of trying to make use of this little bit of circuit board but I've had a look at it and I decided not to bother. So I've got my solder sucker out and my solder and iron and I've actually desoldered it and taken out these odd bits of plastic which were the mechanism that let, let them, the um, circuitry know when it was fully back and fully out. So I don't need them. I'm going to do very similar to the last crawler bot that I did. Crawler bot, inchworm, inchworm crawler bot, whatever you want to call it. So I've got myself a little toggle switch that I'm going to use so it's manually switched when that gets fully open it will push the switch, that will reverse the current flowing through the motor all the way back, that will push the switch the other way reverse the motor so that it will continuously go in and out and drive itself forwards the difference between this one and the one I did uh, about a week ago now is that I don't intend to put wheels on this I'm going to try a different method of motion so we will see I actually intend to use this plastic pop bottle um, I'm going to cut it into a couple of strips and I'm going to use them um, well, like legs I suppose you'll see when I've uh, I've finished. So first thing to do is to mount that switch somewhere so that it's actually actuated by the tray sliding forwards and backwards. Again from the uh, previous model that I made I know I'm going to have to extend the arm on that switch so that it's got longer lever to make it easier to operate. So I'll do that as well. Just been looking around for a piece of plastic to mount the toggle switch and that's the front cover from the DVD tray. And it just happens, those two little bits of plastic that stick up there, there's a couple of notches either side there, that will fit straight in there one way or the other. I can glue it in place, drill a hole in it and mount my toggle switch there. Obviously as I said I've got to lengthen that arm. Just warming my hot glue gun up, show you what I've been up to. So, so I've used that panel, I've mounted my switch on it, toggle switch, and I've extended the arm on the toggle switch with a bit of um, ball pen ink tube, that's the actual ink tube, I've heated it up and pushed it over the end of the arm so now I've got a much longer arm lever to um, do the job. So I shall now glue that in place So I'll have to glue something across there to actually operate the arm because coming back that's too far away. So I'm going to need to glue a piece of ball pen I think, that's my usual bit of plastic across there somewhere. 
and see if that works. Okay, bit of hot gluing done. I'm not quite sure um, whether this is strong enough for what I want to do, but this is the pop bottle sliced up and just glued on the front and the back. I'm not happy about the angle of that one. I really wanted it to be up a bit more vertical, but we'll see. I've glued the glued that bar in place. Glued a ball pen across there, so now as it goes back, that operates, and as it goes forward, it operates. So I'll do a bit of wiring, add some batteries, and see if see if we've got a working model. Right then, soldering completed. Um, I'll tidy it up with a bit of hot glue, just to hold it in place, but uh, that's the toggle switch that will do the forwards-backwards. That's just an extra switch I've added to switch it on and off. I've glued two 9-volt batteries near the back to try and balance it out a bit. Um, there's the really technical diagram. Hope you can follow that. And uh, I'll have to go and try it out somewhere. It's going to work much better on a carpet. On here it doesn't uh, grip properly. But if I go and stick that on some carpet you'll see what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, here we go. Nice bit of carpet to run on. See how we go. Time for a summary, I think. Okay, what have we got here? Toggle switch operating the forward backward motion. No wheels. This time, all we've got is clear plastic from a pop bottle acting as a ratchet effect. Slides forwards grips and pushes forward. 9 volt batteries. When the toggle operates it chooses a different battery basically. One goes positive negative and the other one goes negative positive. That was simple and it was fun.